this big 300-pound uh, guy had the ball and came running like straight at me. It went horribly wrong. I, I immediately realized, well, uh, I, I have a broken face because my jaw was over here. It was so serious, they didn't know whether Andrew would survive the stroke. Well, we were fearful that we might never hear our son's voice again or that he might not ever be able to walk again or use his hand or arm. If somebody has a high-level stroke injury, probability of improvement is less than 10%. His right arm and right hand were most slow in recovery. If Andrew would join rehab 10, 15 years ago, expectation would be that most likely his arm and hand function would not improve. So first we are doing this one, right? Closing. And again, let me know when you first start feeling it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So basically with functional electrical stimulation, we are retraining function. One component of the signal goes to the muscle, but at the same time, we are also sending a signal to the brain of the movement that's being executed. They were saying that it would train the muscle, and, and my brain would obviously connect that pathway. Within months, we could see improvement. It's very uh, encouraging, like, like we saw hope. Now we technology that we have developed, actually all these patients have a chance of improvement. It creates a transformational change. You have a patient who depends on others, and then 40 sessions later, they're able to do it independently. I went from paralysis in my right arm to, to moving my finger, and I was completely amazed by it. Increasing patient independence with the help of FES is directly related to reducing burden off of their caregivers and family members. And with FES, that's exactly what we are achieving. The costs associated with attendant care are in billions of dollars. If one is able to help patients regain hand function so they become independent activities of daily living, first they get their dignity back, they get their independence back but at the same time, the costs of caring for these individuals go down. And that's very important because our population is aging rapidly. And because it's aging, the numbers that we're looking at stroke patients and spinal cord injury patients are growing. It did wonders for me. It pretty much gave me back my arm. I would describe myself as having a 90% movement in my hand and arm. Thanks to FPS. He, um, it has a part-time job right now in an active recovery clinic helping other people recover. And his goal is to become a therapist himself. I'm graduating in two months. I'm, I'm still going to be in, in school for seven more years to be an osteopath. We have decided with uh, help of University of Toronto and Toronto Rehab together to commercialize this technology. We have created a startup company which is called Simple Systems. So just to give you an order of magnitude, in North America alone, there is about 700,000 new stroke patients per year. And this number is not going to go down. We don't really have to do anything for him. No. No, he's, <laughs> he's quite independent. As a matter of fact, he does a lot for us. If it wasn't for the functional electrical stimulation, he wouldn't be what he is today. It definitely has made a huge difference for him. Dental rehab and FES, it's been great for me. It's basically got me f from dependent to independent. <laughs> <laughs>